This is Infinix Hot 40i smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So if you are planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought this then this video can be helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. This phone comes with smart panel feature. To enable this you can swipe from any side and hold it for a few seconds then it will open your smart panel. Now you can access any application with the help of this smart panel very quickly. You can also click screenshot, screen record etc. If you want to edit this you can click on edit and add your favorite apps and also remove unnecessary apps from this sidebar. If you will try to access your notification center then sometimes it will open this control center and sometimes this notification center. But if you will swipe from the right side of the front camera then it will always open your control center and if you will swipe down from the left side of this front camera then it will open your notification center. And you can also swipe from left or right to switch from notification center to control center. Whenever you use your phone with a single hand then it feels really uneasy to reach at the top and open this notification center. But there is a gesture by which you can easily open this notification center. Tap and hold on the home screen and then click on settings. Then click on gestures. There you will see the option of slide down on launcher. Click on this and then select notification bar. Now whenever you will swipe down on the empty area it will open your notification center. This phone comes with 360 degree flashlight feature. Simply open your control center and then click on this little arrow on the flashlight. There you will see the option of 360 flashlight. If you will enable this then it will turn on your front flashlight and back flashlight at the same time. You can also enable auto call recording in the smartphone and this will not give you that annoying announcement or any kind of beep. Simply open your dialer and then click on settings. There you will see the option of auto record calls. Simply enable this then it will automatically record all your calls without any announcement. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen up feature. Open your settings, scroll down and then click on special functions. Scroll down and then click on actions and gestures. There you will see the option of tapping wake, click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you are on home screen you can simply double tap on the empty area it will lock your phone and if you will double tap on the locked screen it will wake your screen up. You can also read any deleted whatsapp messages in the smartphone without downloading any third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on special functions. There you will see the option of social turbo. Click on this. Firstly you have to install whatsapp. I'm not using whatsapp right now but you have to enable this peak mode. If you will enable this then it will save all your messages here even the deleted messages so you can check all those messages from here. If your phone is locked then anyone can access your control center and then change these settings. But if you want to block this you can easily do this. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notification center. Click on more settings. There you will see the option of swipe down on lock screen. Click on this and then disable these two features. Now whenever your phone is locked no one can access your control center or your notification bar. You can also track your daily data usage in this smartphone. Simply open your control center and there you will see the option of this 0 MB use today. If you click on this and then enable this then it will start showing your daily data usage. Not using any sim in this smartphone that's why it's not opening otherwise simply click on this and then enable this. By default if you will try to take a screenshot with this three finger gesture then you won't be able to do that. Firstly you have to open your settings and then click on special functions. Scroll down and then click on actions and gesture. There on the bottom you will see the option of screenshots. Click on this and then enable this full screen capture. And then also enable this partial screenshot. Now you can click a screenshot with this three finger gesture like this. Now if you want to click a partial screenshot or a screenshot of a specific area then simply tap and hold on the screen with these three fingers and then select the area of which you want to click a screenshot and then you can also edit the screenshot you can write anything etc and then you can save this screenshot. Now if you want to click a long screenshot you can also do this simply click a normal screenshot and then click on this scroll icon. Now scroll to adjust the length of the screenshot and then click on done. That's how you can click a partial screenshot, long screenshot in this smartphone. This phone comes with two really cool anti-theft features. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on password and security. Scroll down there you will see the option of mobile anti-theft. Click on this. Open theft alert and then enable this. Click on enable. Firstly you have to set a privacy password or screen lock but if you have already done this you can skip this part. 
draw a pattern then confirm your pattern you can set your privacy setting as well now if you will plug in your charger in this smartphone and if someone will plug it out then it will set off an alarm like this and it will only go off whenever you will unlock your smartphone this phone will automatically give you a tone whenever it will be fully charged to enable this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on power marathon there you will see the option of battery settings click on this and on the bottom enable this charging completion tone if you enable this then it will play the prompt sound whenever charge is completed you can also clone any social media application in the smartphone so you'll be able to log in with two different account in a single application simply open your settings scroll down and then click on special functions there you will see the option of x clone click on this then it will show all the social media application installed in your smartphone select the app you want to clone it will take few seconds after this it will create a dual of this application as you can see i have two facebooks now and i can log in with two different account of a single application you can use two application at the same time in a single screen simply open any app and then put it in recent there click on this little arrow and you will see the option of split screen click on this and then select the second application you want to use and now you will be able to use two application at the same time in a single screen if you want to change these three button navigation to just a navigation open your settings scroll down to the bottom click on system and then click on system navigation here it is selected to three button navigation you can select just a navigation now you can go back from swiping from left or right of the screen come to home screen by swiping from the middle bottom and open recent by swiping from the middle bottom and hold it there if you use your phone at night a lot then you must enable these features open your settings scroll down and then click on special functions scroll down to the bottom and then click on accessibility there you will see the option of extra dim if you will enable this then it will dim your screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness so you can use this feature if you're using your phone at night in your display and brightness settings if you will scroll down you will see the option of eye care if you will enable this then it will warm the color of your screen so you can enable this feature if you're using your phone at night as it will decrease the strain on your eyes a lot you can also lock any application in the smartphone simply open your settings and then click on password and security there you will see the option of app lock click on this and then you have to set a privacy password as i have already done this then you can skip this part you can also link any account otherwise click on skip now select the app you want to lock here i want to lock my drive and now whenever you will open your drive it will ask for that privacy password so that's how you can lock any application in this smartphone. If you will put any application in recent, then it will show the data that you have used in the application. But if you want to blur this, then simply click on this little arrow and there you will see the option of blur. Then it will blur all the data and no one will be able to see from this recent tab. Now let's talk about some of the gestures. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on special functions, scroll down and then click on actions and gestures. Now. Uh, if you enable this lift to wake gesture and now whenever your phone is on table you can simply lift your phone and it will automatically wake your screen up here you will see the option of flip mute if you will enable this and now whenever someone will call you you can simply flip your phone and it will automatically mute your incoming call if you will enable this music gesture then you can control your media whenever your phone is locked so you can swipe from left to play next song from right to play the previous song you can also swipe down to pause the song and also swipe up to play the song so you can control your media even when your phone is locked with the help of this music gesture on the home screen if you will switch from one page to another then it will show this normal animation but if you want to change it then simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on settings scroll down and then click on appearance on the top there you will see the option of page turn effect click on this by default it is selected to slide you can select your favorite one now if you will switch from one page to another it will show that specific animation you can also record your screen in the smartphone open your control center and open this little arrow there you will see the option of screen recorder click on this and now it will start recording your screen you can pause it or if you want to stop it then click on this red rectangle and then it will save it into your gallery if you want to enable this split screen feature directly from this smart sidebar 
then open your sidebar and then tap and hold on the app and then drag and drop on the top and now you can select the second application and that's how you can directly enable the split screen feature from this smart sidebar so these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of infinix hot 40i smartphone if this was helpful for you then please like this video and subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone